Hello everyone, welcome to the void. <laughs> In this video, I want to talk about that one time I did commissions for free. Um, before I get into the topic, I want to address uh, that this B-Paint video features a commission that I'm, I was working on. And, um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, anyway, let's jump right in. Back when I was very obsessed with Doki Doki Literature Club, I did think about opening commissions for people that enjoyed my art. A lot of times people ask if I do commissions, but every time I say that I cannot do commissions, and every time I had to tell people that I don't have any sort of payment method because my parents don't like it when their kids use money online. I was a very understanding child, so people went on with their days. <laughs> Until one day, a friend requested me if I wanted to partake in this DLC mod that they really like. Now, I don't know what was going on with my mind at that time. Maybe I was very confident with what I was doing. But I did accept the request, and they referred me to their friend's Discord. The person excitedly expected my greeting and responded back to me. They sent me a Discord server invite, and I accepted it. There wasn't much that they had, especially with progress on their progress page. <laughs> I then decided to work as their CG artist for their mod, and that mod being Doki Doki Salvation. I'm not going to dive into the story because I don't care what it's about. <clears throat> anyway, I was asked to make three separate CGs for the mod. Every single week, I was asked if any progress for the CGs that he had requested at the time, I was also working on other projects, hoping that he would understand the situation. But thinking about it now, I honestly don't know if he even knows that. <laughs> Not because, <clears throat> well, excuse me. Not because I didn't tell him, but because he follows me on my other social media. That I it felt redundant to bring up, to bring it up. Instead, I worked on the CGs for two days. And then the next two days, I worked on my project. It followed that cycle uh, for a while until I was able to finish all three CGs. And mind you, these CGs are not like still images kind of CGs. They're like different expression CGs. <laughs> I mean, they are still images, but still different expressions. <clears throat> anyway, when I was done with the CGs, the guy mentioned that after a couple of days, he would give me uh, more info on their next CGs. At that point, I just didn't feel mentally well anymore. Because, first of all, I didn't get much rest the past month, and my other projects require pretty much the same amount of energy. I probably wouldn't be complaining much if I was paid, but at the end of the day, I was basically doing free labor for the dude I don't even know. Then, I decided to take a break, a long, long break. Before that, I informed the guy that I wanted to quit the project, hence losing his only CG artist. I directly told him that I wasn't paid, and it was really stressful working with a group of unmotivated people. I then went to California and had a really good time with my family. When I got back the month after that, I looked up to see how the DDoC mod was doing. I went to visit their website and noticed that they had a credit section for their mod. They had different categories for the group of people for some reason. Um, uh, <clears throat> I, for some reason, was not accredited under the artist category. I directed, I directly messaged the guy and reminded him to credit me because I indeed did work on a project as well. He obliged to credit me, but sadly the project was completed at least for a while, so it felt like I was getting the short end of the stick here, <clears throat> since someone else was already credited as the main artist of the mod. After a while, I finally got my own credit cards that I can use to receive money from my clients. 
I was so excited that I rushed home to make a PayPal account. As a person that has always wanted to open commissions, this felt like I had achieved a lot, which I did. A bunch of people supported my choice by commissioning me. Before I opened commission though, I looked up videos that had suggestions on what prices to put up. Even though I did my research thoroughly, I still feel very insecure about my own prices. Then my friends told me that I am making my prices too low. So through the many months of me opening commissions, I slowly put my prices to higher over time. The amount of clients that I receive Sorry about that. <laughs> the amount of clients that I received was pretty normal until one day the Fire Foundation attacked. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't have some. Um, I do have some uh, not so normal clients before, so maybe I'll talk about it in my future videos. I hope you guys enjoy my boring commentary speaking video. I guess this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.